Hi you guys, this is section 3.1 which is solving two-step equations. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of different type of problems for you guys so you can see how I want them done. Um, and there is going to be a homework check at the end so make sure you watch this so I do want to see it either on the back of an agenda or on your homework somewhere. Okay, so here's a few different problems that I'll do them color coded so you can see. First thing is when you have a two-step equation is I'm going to draw the line now so you can balance both sides of the equal sign. Whatever you do to one side you have to do to the, other, to the other. Okay, if I have 3 times x minus 4, I want to get rid of the minus 4 first because I'm trying to isolate the x by itself. So if I plus 4 to this side, that's gone because it becomes 0. And I drop down to 3x equals, and 8 plus 4 is 12. And that's your first step. The second step is going to be um, getting rid of the 3. So if it's 3 times x, I need to do the opposite. If it's 3 times x, I need to divide by 3. And notice I put it over 3, so don't put, the, don't put like, divide by 3 like this. Okay, just write it over 3, so you can see the st steps really clearly. And then this becomes 1x, or just x, is equal to 12 times 3 is 4. Okay, you can see how clear that is. One step is plus 4, second step is divided by 3. And then you got your answer. Okay, the second problem, if I have negative 2x plus 6, this time, I want a minus 6 from both sides. Okay, because I, I want to get rid of this plus 6 to make it 0. I drop down the negative 2x. Notice I drop down the negative with it. And then 8 minus 6 is 2. And now when I divide, I need to divide by the negative 2 to get rid of this. So it becomes 1x is equal to negative 1. Okay, if it's negative 2 times x, I need to divide by the negative 2 to make it equal to a 1x. Okay, in the third problem over here, I have 4 minus x. So on this one, you have the x first, and this one, the x is second. The 4 in this one is what throws people off. Um, this is actually a positive 4. So you, what you need to do is minus 4 from both sides, because this is like saying a positive 4 if it's in front. Now that becomes 0, and I need to drop down the sign along with the x. So I'm going to drop down a negative x is equal to, and 13 minus 4 is 9. And that's like having an invisible 1 here. So this is actually like saying negative 1x in a way, if you want to think of that way. So if it's negative 1 times x, I need to divide by the negative 1. And then I get x is equal to, and this would be gone, negative 9. So you can see first step is going to be a plus or minus. Second step, in this case, was always dividing, dividing, dividing. And you can see, I want, to, I want you to put it over the, uh, I'm sorry, underneath as a division. Okay, so just make it as a fraction. Okay, here's a couple different types of problems here where it's going to be x divided by 4 or 1 fifth x plus 7, etc. So I didn't still need to do the first step. is still going to be the same. I need to get rid of this 5, so I'm going to plus 5 to both sides. And I can draw the line so you can see whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you need to do to the other as well. This is gone, so I'm left with x over 4 is equal to 6 plus 5 is 11. And this is where it's going to be different than the other one. If it's x divided by 4, I need to times 4. So when I times 4, I want you guys to put it in parentheses on the outside like this. So it's showing that it's timesing this side times 4 and this side times 4. That cancels this out, the denominator out, because it just becomes 1x. So x is equal to 4 times 11 is 44. There's your two steps, plus 5 times 4, and I'm done. Okay, on the middle one in the green, Instead of writing it as x over 5, sometimes you can write it as 1 fifth x. So be careful. That's just the same as x over 5. Okay, just written a little differently. But I'm going to show, show you how to solve it uh, if it's written as 1 fifth x. So what I want to do, first step, minus 7, because I want to get rid of this. So that I'm, now I'm left with 1 fifth times x is equal to negative 8. And now what I want to do is, in this case, I multiplied it by the denominator to get rid of it, the 4. So th that's also multiplying it the same thing as like 4 over 1, okay, by the reciprocal. So I would multiply this by 5 over 1, or just 5, same thing. That way it becomes 5 over 5, which cancels out, cross cancels out, and get x is equal to negative 40. Okay, so first step was minus 7, second step is times 5, or 5 over 1. The reason I did it this way is because if you have a fraction like this, 
um, this is what you would do. You would get rid of the plus six, uh, the negative six by plus six to both sides, and now I'm left with two thirds x is equal to twelve. In this case, you can't just multiply by one number um, to get rid of just the denominator like how we did over here. So you need to multiply it by the reciprocal, which would be 3 over 2. And then this would be by 3 over 2. So now I end up with 6 over 6, which just becomes x is equal to. And this is where I can put it over as a 1. And then 12 times 3 is 36 over 2. So 36 over 2 is 18. Okay, and then just answer that. So that's how you do two-step problems. I'm going to show you next how to write a two-step problem from a word problem as well as a kind of a tricky problem. So here's the next one. Um, Haku wants to buy Lay's. They cost $8 each. Shipping is $20. How many can she buy if she has $100? Okay, so you have your equation. The keyword here is $8 each. So if it's $8 each, you're, it would be 8 times x. x is the number of Lay's. So if x is, x equals the number of lays. 8x, and the shipping is a set $20, so plus 20. So she's spending 8 times how much ever lays, plus 20, equals 2, and she has $100. There's your equation. And now you want to solve it the same way. So you minus 20 for both sides. And now you got 8x is equal to 80. And now I just divide by 8 and x is equal to 10 lays. Okay, so that's how you write an equation and you solve it. Okay, this one is a kind of a tricky one that's in the book. It's x over 5, uh, sorry, x plus 5 all over 3 is equal to 9. Uh, if I draw my line down the middle, whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other. If I have 3 in the denominator here, I can multiply this by 3 over 1 or just 3. Multiply this by 3 and that gets rid of the denominator. Okay. And now I'm left with x plus 5 is equal to 27. And now I can just minus 5 from both sides. That gets rid of that, and I'm left with x is equal to 22. Okay? So you're going to need that one for one of the problems on the homework. So here's your homework check. Do this on the back of your agenda or homework paper. I do want to see it written down somewhere. The problem is 7x plus 4 is equal to negative 17. I want you to show the work. I'm giving you the answer. Your answer should come out to x equals negative 3. Okay. If you did something wrong, I want you to figure out where you went wrong, but you should come out to x equals negative 3. I do want to see the two steps between the problem and the answer. So I'm giving you that negative 3. Okay. I hope this helps. Take care.